Hi guys, I thought I would do some cooking in today's vlog, cause why not? I'm going to be cooking spaghetti bolognese. <laughs> As you can tell, I'm terrible at cooking. Check out my last video, I'll put it in the, I think it's there or there, the information bubble. You'll see it's terrible. Anyway, let's do it again, cause why not? Okay. <clears throat> So, I usually opt for one big onion, but we only have small ones, and we have the purple ones. Anyway, we'll have two. Mm, that one doesn't look good. This is for the pasta sauce. Two small onions. So here, I'm just cutting off the top. Uh, making sure the onion's not rotten. Just peeling off some skin. Then cutting the root. There you go. Um, peeling what's left of the skin that is not part of the onion now i'm cutting it in half to peel the rest of the skin and it makes it a lot easier if you cut it in half then you can easily get the skin off but it's really agitating when you don't have nails peeling and picking at the skin is just ugh okay i'm cutting them into thin slices here as you can see, and then I'm gonna cut them into cubes, pretty much, but you want them very, very th thin. Okay, now grabbing the thin slices, you wanna cut those into smaller cubes, as I am doing here. Pushing that aside, you wanna grab the rest of your slices and just chop them up into cubes, pretty much. Here I am just scraping all the small cubes, if you will, uh, of onion together, horizontally just chopping um, to make it finer, but also just to make sure there's no big chunks of onion anywhere, because you don't want chunky onion unless you want chunky onion in your sauce here i'm just going vertically to do the same here we're using certified organic uh minced beef however you can use whatever minced beef you have available it doesn't have to be organic Here you want to just basically cook the meat in the fat. I know that sounds weird, but here I'm just breaking it up into pieces and just make sure it goes all brown. Pretty much that's what you want to do. You just want to break it up into smaller bits so it fries and cooks faster. Here I'm adding the onions. Once the meat is half done, you want to add the onions like I'm doing here and just basically sorbe the onions in the meat juices and the meat itself. Here I am filling up another pot of water for the pasta. Now I am also soaking our veggies, which is there. Just let them soak and let's put this pot of water on the stove and let that boil. Here I'm using Capricorno Bon Appetit pasta sauce. Okay, now what we're gonna do is just add the whole entire pasta sauce bottle into the pan and carefully stir it about. Um, I should have used a bigger pan, honestly. Now we've rinsed uh, the bottle out. You can use uh, red wine or you can just use water. I've just used water here because we're going to add the red wine later and just hopefully the pan doesn't overflow. Okay, emergency. This isn't part of the plan. Just, I, I, I thought it was going to overflow, so I'm tipping it into this pot pretty much. That That's it. Just, that's the big emergency. <laughs> now putting that onto the stove. There we go. Now we can resume cooking as normal. Here we're going to put some bay leaves in. Um, then just stir that about a bit. Next, we're going to put some wine in uh this is harvey's shiraz wine um we're gonna only put like a li little bit of a drizzle next you want to add the pepper which is about two twists 
of the ground thing or you can just add a pinch of pepper either way then you want to mix this all in together here's my mum washing veggies in her mind every dish we have we have to have veggies even if it's pasta a side of veggies like she's that healthy that we eat veggies every single day here she's just basically chopping up the veggies into smaller bits okay taste test Need more pepper. You filming? Mm. Still too hot. <laughs> Twelve seconds later. Still too hot. A few moments later. Okay. Yeah, pretty much done. No salt needed. Yep, pretty much done. Okay, here I'm taking off the lid, putting it on the counter. Next, I'm going to empty the whole jar because we don't have much pasta left. Come on, empty it all out. Shake it, shake it. Keep, oh, there's a little bit left. <laughs> Make sure you get the last bit of it. Um, now, what you want to do is mix it all around uh, so it doesn't stick together. Next, what you want to do is add salt. Now, I only used a few pinches of salt. Uh, you can put more or less salt as you wish, pretty much. 20 minutes later. Okay, now uh, the pasta is done. I am taking it off the stove and carefully putting it on the... Nope, wait. You want to put the towel underneath it. There we are, that's better. For spillage-wise. Uh, that's about it. Here I'm serving the pasta as you can see, with the pasta claw, and um, that's pretty much it. Oh, I forgot about the sauce, so let's bring the sauce over to the kitchen counter. Here it is. Woo! And you want to use a ladle to scoop it out and uh, put it on top of your pasta. Scoop it and dump, pretty much. Scoop and dump. Here we're putting more water into the pasta water, if you will. Um, here's just the pasta water on the boil again, um, because we're going to add the veggies into the pasta water, I know, because we're just reusing the water. Um, what you want to do is just basically let them cook until they are soft and ready to serve. 20 minutes later. Here the veggies are done, so we are taking them to the kitchen counter. Okay, now that we put it on the kitchen counter, you want to grab your chopsticks or spoon or fork or whatever and serve your veggies. That's what we're doing. Serve your veggies. And sorry if the camera is a bit foggy because the steam is literally fogging up the camera. There you go. You have your spaghetti, your veggies, and your container for the fridge later. Yay! Um, here we're just adding some oil to the veggies. Uh, you can add salt, you can add oil, and you can add whatever you want to your veggies. Um, we would add cheese on top of the pasta, but unfortunately we don't have any cheese left. But that's it. Okay, I'm going to make this really quick. But there you have it. Me cooking. With the help of my mum, obviously. So, I'm just going to go and eat my veggies and eat my pasta and binge watch some Criminal Minds because I've been binge watching Criminal Minds. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please do give it a thumbs up. Um, and yeah, a cooking video. Yay!